what's up guys? Today we're going to try to do Time Bomb from Rancid. Um, this song uses some techniques that I don't practice a ton and we haven't really, uh, I don't, I don't know if we've done too many in these videos together, but we use some more of that, uh, that ska style strumming, that <laughs> strumming on the upbeat. And we're going to use some chord shapes that we don't use all the time either. So let's uh, just zoom in and do it. Okay, before we get going, make sure to hit subscribe. Look down in the description for this video and grab my Best Beginner Chord Poster. If you're new to guitar, check out the guitar book I made. There's also a link where you can find out about Skype lessons with me. And then lastly, if you know someone who might be into this video, if you could share it with them, that would really help me out a lot. This song's going to be in standard tuning. So standard E, that's my E. The song starts out with just two chords. We need a B minor, that's nothing on the sixth string. And then two, four, four, three, two. And you need an E chord. That's zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. Three, four. You just hit the B minor three times. Switch to the E and hit that one three times. And then right after your palm comes down on the string to kill that chord quick. Now during that intro there's a tiny little lead part and I'll show you that real quick. Now I got my looping pedal set up so we have two, three, four. That's just the fourth fret on the third string. We hold that note. And then I go to the second fret of the same string and then play a three on the second string. And now we move on to the verse. Now we could stay with this B minor and this open E. And uh, one of the guitars does that, but the other guitar moves up the neck. So let's try to work on that one. So now to play the B minor, we're not going to have anything on the lowest three strings, so I have nothing, 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 and then seven, seven, seven. I'm just going to bar that all with my first finger. And then to play the E, I'm just going to put my third finger down on the ninth fret of the third string, and I'm going to put my pinky down on the ninth fret of the second string. So we have nothing, 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 and then nine, nine, seven. Now for the strumming rhythm, I'm just going to go up, down, up. And when I'm strumming up, I'm going to put the pressure down on the chord. And when I'm strumming down, I'm going to release the pressure and still touch the strings just so we hear that, uh, that muted sound, that percussive sound. Up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, I'm not really going to be able to uh, sing this one really, but just to kind of give you an idea of the, the tempo that we're playing. Three, four, if you want to make a move, then you better come in. It's just the ability to please that we're so thin. Living and dying and the stories are true. Secret to a good life is knowing when you're through. And now we move on to the chorus. Now for the chorus, you could stay down here in this open position and work on uh, you know, some of your open chords, but let's move up the neck and try to work on some of these different chords. Now when I'm strumming these chords, I'm still gonna be kind of focusing on the first three strings, but let's just hold down four notes um, just in case we accidentally hit an extra one. So we have an A chord that's nothing, nothing, and then we're gonna go seven, six, five, five. We have a D chord that's going to be nothing on the 6th string, nothing on the 5th, and then we have 7, 7, 7, 5. And then we have an E chord, and we're going to play nothing, nothing, 6, 4, 5, 4. Yeah, now just as an exercise, because I don't really play that D chord a ton, let's try just to hold out the chords for a minute. Let's go A, D, E, D. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. 
All right, that was a good little warm up, and now the chorus sounds like this. Three, four. Black coat, white shoes, black hat, Cadillac. The boys that time bomb. Black coat, white shoes, black hat, Cadillac. The boys that time bomb. Now we go back and forth from the verse to the chorus three different times. And after the third time, you go to an E chord and we strum that for a bit. And then we're gonna go right into the solo. Now let me see if I can get my looping pedal going again. We're gonna be playing over the verse. So that's the B minor and the E. Two, three, four. Now you're going to be able to read the tab, but right there on that one part, the I'm playing the third fret of the second string, and I go down, up, down, up, down, down. And now right after the solo, we go into the, the chorus again, but only now there's no singing, it's just a keyboard solo. And then, and then we ring out on an E chord, and then let's play a D chord, but let's not play the first string. And then you just play one more verse, we do one more chorus, twice as long, and then we play an E. And then we'll go to an open A, but we won't play the highest couple of strings. And that's it. Alright guys, good job. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. If you have requests, you can put them down in the comments or you can get a hold of me on social media. And like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm just now, I'm starting to teach on Skype now. So if any of you guys want a little bit extra help with this song or maybe just, you know, a different song, you can get a hold of me. There's a, a link down in the description. We can talk about that. And um, please remember to hit like and to share this video and I'll just see you guys next time.